Yeah, this is gonna be a good episode for the month of June. Got a pretty good, good solid stack here. So we're gonna start off with um, the Wii. Actually, we're gonna just start off with stuff from Tabbers. Let's just start there. <laughs> so starting off strong, we got uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Two, one, go! Yeah! Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. This one did come with the manual. Got uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. This actually came in a, as a part of a blind box, and I also got uh, as part of a blind box as well a Mario Odyssey collectible coin. Pretty cool. I was in the case there. Totally forgot about that. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna go and look at the Xbox One games here. Got uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. To run, we can work so hard. Oh. You know, the insert in the game. Got, uh, put that over here. Okay. Got not one, but two copies of Call of Duty World of War. Oh. 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 Sorry, uh, World War II. I'm gonna play with my wife. We're really in the war zone. Figured we could play some Modern Warfare. Excuse me. I didn't want to say Modern Warfare. World War II. Came with the insert with that one and some this one. So pretty cool. And we got two copies of Diablo 3. On Xbox One. Yes, yeah, I already have this on Switch, and the Switch version is definitive, but I wanted a way to play with my wife. And so we get our achievements. So pretty cool. Okay, we're going to like the Xbox original games here. And this is a game I've been wanting for quite some time. I first played it on the thing on the PS2, and I had to have it. Uh, it was uh, Headhunter Redemption. game if you've ever played this game highly recommend it pretty awesome and then we got spy hunter on the track game with manual got a spy hunter 2 Xbox. It came with the manual. And what I don't see very often, I think this is one of those common yet hard to find, well, hard to find games. Because um, I don't see it very often. There's Spy Hunter nowhere to run. Position by satellite. I'll give you updates when I can. This is Nostra territory. If you can take out their communications network, they'll have a harder time coordinating a pursuit. Third game in the series. Can't believe it, man. 
So, man, we've got a game that I've spent hours and hours and hours on back on the uh, GameCube. Um, and that's X-Men Legends uh, 2, Rise of the Apocalypse. Sorry, Rise of Apocalypse. <laughs> Looky here, a target. Text box, box original. Came with manual. Uh, can't wait for this to go through, go on to um, uh, Project, Insig Project Insignia. Hopefully, it does. Great game right here. Lots of fun. And then, last Xbox original game pickup I got. It's a game I saw on Melody's channel, I believe, a while ago. Um, and I thought, this looks interesting. And that is Classified the Sentinel Crisis. I think it would look like you think it would like some kind of a chess game or some kind of board game or something, but it's not. It's a really cool first person shooter. Okay. Um, so uh, oh, more tapper stuff, of course. Now this isn't video game related, but I had to have it as a uh, 90s kid. And it was only five bucks. And that is the Funko Mr. Bill. For those who don't know, Mr. Bill is uh, is a character from uh, Saturday Night Live SNL, which is no longer around. Um, and, I, and I just had to have him. So happy to have him in, in my collection. All right, so moving on to the last of the pickups from Tavers. These are some Switch titles. Uh, now, admittedly, uh, two of these I got last month, but I forgot to include them. Um, and that was uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamline Deluxe. <laughs> Uh, Rune Factory 4 special. Switch. And we got uh, CTR Crush Team Racing Nitro Fueled. The original game on on the Xbox, box. I traded that in, um, intending on getting this one. So glad I was able to get this on Switch. And then I finally picked up, yes, from Tappers, uh, <laughs> Zelda Tears, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Haven't dive too much into this, but it's been beautiful and awesome from what I played of it. So glad to finally have this in my collection. And uh, moving right along to the last two items I've got. Okay, so this is a game I've covered on the channel, um, but I'm really glad that I have this physically. Um, courtesy of Forever Entertainment, uh, sorry, Forever Limited. Um, front mission first. The uh, Collector's Edition on Switch. Um, I'm going to do an unboxing and and do a proper unboxing on the channel um, soon. But I'm very happy to have this. You know, like I said, this is just, just beautiful set to you guys. Um, so I can't wait to unbox that and show us you guys. You guys. Now, the last thing I got. Um, now, um, I've been slowly transitioning to more digital media as far as like the older consoles go. 
Um, so I decided to bite the bullet. and got this for a really good deal. Um, it's been shown on uh, RGA5's channel as well as uh, uh, Mavlo Pixel. Uh, also covered, I believe. Uh, that is the B Link um, Ryzen 7 Mini PC. Um, I will do an in depth video on this at some point, just gotta show you guys what uh, what this is all about and what I specifically have done to it. So, um, happy to have this, happy to finally be able to use this to cover some some uh, some Steam Indies uh, eventually. So, so happy to have this. All right, so let's go back up. So, I've got here our Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life on Switch. cool game. I love the fact that it comes with a manual. Pretty cool. Switch games don't do that. Any game nowadays doesn't do that anymore. So really glad that it comes with manual. Pretty awesome. Another Switch release here that came out this month. Uh, Sonic Origins Plus. Switch, pretty cool title. Um, comes with the DLC, comes with 12 Game Gear games downloadable, um, as well as the ability to play as Amy um, in all four games. Um, and I think there, there's one other thing that it can that it, it included in the DLC. I don't quite remember what it was, but it might have been additional music actually. But pretty cool, you get uh, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, and Knuckles, which is Sonic 3 plus Sonic and Knuckles together, which is pretty awesome. And then uh, Sonic CD, and then the 12 game your games with the download code. So pretty awesome. And in addition, with the physical version, you not only get all of that in one package, but you also get this neat, awesome little art book. Pretty, pretty cool. Got the covers for all the games. Oh, cross regions. Pretty, pretty cool book. Um, I probably do an in-depth review um, on this at some point because I really want to do it. I think it'd be really cool to to do. So I'll definitely do that in the future. As I'm trying this back in here, I'll do that later. Um, a game I was surprised to uh, find is actually backwards compatible. Um, so I had to pick it up. <laughs> Not only I have to pick it up for that, but it was a decent price. I've always wanted to play this uh, on 360 ever since getting on, getting on the PS3 way back when. Um, and that is Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. The one fight. On 360. Uh, this did come with the manual, so pretty awesome. Ten bucks, can pass it up. Decent price for those who don't know. You can play as uh, it's a fighting game where you can pit um, Scorpion against Superman or <laughs> or Batman. It's a pretty cool cool fighting game. But I don't like what they did with Mortal Kombat 11, but I think this is better, honestly. So definitely a lot smaller <laughs> in the final size. So pretty pretty awesome to have that. Okay, and again backwards compatible my Xbox One. So pretty awesome. Okay. And then the last game I got was a original Xbox game. What I've been wanting for a while. Um, 
and got it for 12 bucks. Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Um, the Vehicle went BCB. Quad should be set up in the surrounding area. Xbox. Uh, this did come with the main, so pretty cool. Not a bad price. Pretty awesome. Need for Speed game. Um, can't wait for it to hit. Uh, project into their Insignia Project. Project Insignia. Um, that hasn't already. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool racing game. Right, and the last thing I got from Tappers um, was something I've been eyeing for, for why I meant to get a second modded Game Boy Color at some point and this came to the shop um, I want to say a couple weeks back and it looked really cool and I saw it there the other day I'm like you know I, I gotta pick it up and so I did and that is a um, modded Game Boy Color with a game of oh, the a, a Gengar <laughs> uh, case pretty cool um, so it's everything my uh, my Kirby one does everything and uh, it looks really nice and here it's going to load up um, uh, Magic and Legend so pretty cool and this actually gets even louder than the Kirby one did which I thought was kind of surprising listen it's not reset of course but Yeah, if you get too so high, it resets. But that's really, really loud. So, pretty cool game. If you haven't tried, if you haven't checked this game out, um, I did review it. Um, pretty cool platformer. And yeah, pretty cool Game Boy Color. Real cool Game Boy Color. I love, I love the way this looks. So, pretty cool. I have that. And yeah, that's some of my pickups for this month. Uh, the month of uh, June. Can't wait to see what July brings. It'll be interesting. So, um, I will thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.